it's your girl Ruga Ren. It's our very first episode of Boss Talk with Ren. I got my favorite girl, Tajay. Y'all, it's Splash. You know, Splashy Styles, cuz Splashy J, all that there, it's all there. My whole reasoning for picking you is because a lot of people say like, oh, Tajay's ghetto as hell. And I'm like, yeah, so am I. But I know we're on a different level, especially when I lost my baby. I got to know you on a different level and I love that. And I want to talk about it. I want to yeah. talk about you. Yeah. Where you from? I'm from Homewood. She from Homewood. But that's what make me, like, you know, grind hard high. That's what make me good hard how I am. Like, if I didn't get it out the mud, then I wouldn't have how I got it now. Like, I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud that you stick to who you are. You don't switch up. That's going. Girl, people be trying to, like, you know, throw shade on me and shit. But I don't trip on that. That's small shit to a giant. Because I'm going to always stand on who I am. Right. That make me be, like, separate myself from the different. Like, I can't. So, you went to college. Yes, the first historical black college university. You went to college. Congratulations. Thank I want to know, did you ever feel out of place? It was a culture shock. Mm -hmm. I won't say that. Like, when I went to Lincoln, I was the only person I knew. I didn't know nobody. Nobody. Not one person. Like, there was a couple people who I ended up, like, you know, knowing from Pittsburgh, but I didn't know they was there. So, like, my first, my first couple days, yeah, it was like... I'm really here with nobody. Nobody, like, I don't right. Know nobody. But just the person that I am, like, you know, people see me and they see who I am. Like, you know, they, they come on to me and I come on to people. I'm strong. I'm very friendly. Right. I see girls, you look cute as hell. I'm like, you look cute, cute as hell. Right. Like, you look cute as fuck. She just like, showed me a cute girl, y'all. Swear. Super cute. Love when your hair is done. I just show love. So that right there just gave people the, oh, like, she got hospitality. She's real down to earth. Like, and I was able to be me. I didn't know nobody. Mm -hmm. Like, nobody couldn't throw dirt on me. Like, right. nobody knew, me. knew you. It was like a fresh start. Exactly. All right. This is what I wanted to tell you. Did I say I got something to tell you? I remember posting a picture laid out with Carlos, and his little tattoo was on, in the picture. And you comment under my we must have been following each other. You comment under my picture, like, bitch. <laughs> like, you knew who it was. And I was like, damn, maybe I shouldn't have posted this dude. We ended up being super cool, though. And I just love you. Like, I that love who you are. Dog. That was my dog. That was my first real. Like, you know how you grow up, you got. You hood niggas. Like, uh -huh. no, that was my brother. He was from a whole different hood. <laughs> and my mom loved him. Uh -huh. So we just vibed like and when he told me about you, I'm like, I like her. She be here. She just gives me me energy. Like yeah. he just reminded me of me you, so much. Right. I'm like, I love her for you. Like she's everything. <laughs> Another question I got for you, because you like me, we're how old are you? 24. 24. You'll be 25 in July. You yeah, a cancer July too? I'm a Leo baby. Mm, you, mm, I'm a cancer, but I, I ain't mad at you. So, we're the same age. We both don't have kids, but I'm sure there's friends, people around you that got kids. Some people's getting married. Do you ever sometimes feel like your life is not going? Um, like, do you ever feel like you're not? Yeah, like, or do you ever feel like, when is it going to happen for me? Or do you feel like I'm cool with where I'm at? Like, I don't really, like, prime example, my mom don't got no grandkids. I'm my mom's only child, and I'm sure she want to be a grandma. And sometimes, sometimes I want a baby, but most times I don't. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about it? So uh, I don't. I don't really. Not that I don't care for kids. Right. I love the kids, mm -hmm. but I don't care to have my own kids right, right now. Good for like, you. Just the shit that I seen growing up, I would never want my kid to see that. Mm -hmm. Like my kid will never get it out the mud. Like right. Like you know, like that's just. I'm not at a point in my life where I could just have a kid like I have a lifestyle I gotta maintain maintain yeah so I'd rather just do that like you know when I'm like a millionaire right they could inherit and ain't nothing wrong with being an older mom right that's okay Literally. my kid will be I'll be 33 34 when I have a kid, I have a kid. yeah I'm thinking 30s too um another question I have for you is finances when who taught you about credit finances did your parent your mom your dad teach you about finances or is that something that you're learning on your own as far as credit and all that type of stuff well like i know like when i first turned 18 i had got a victoria's secret credit card mm -hmm. and i was going to school that was the first year i went to school so i just got all these jeans like cute shirts right. and shit like that and i never paid it back <laughs> never never so what about now like so that's what that's what made me get onto my credit right shit. like one day they just hit me like oh you got a 683 dollar balance this is a collection agency you mm -hmm. can pay this down for 200 dollars mm -hmm. and we'll get it off your credit whatever whatever so i'm just like all right and i was trying to get a car 
I'm like, all right, let me do it. So I paid the two hundred dollars my credit score when I when that thirty two point ain't that crazy. So at that moment, I knew that like, okay, ma'am, I need to just start taking my credit a little bit serious. Mm-hmm. So um, some girl Jaquela Stevens on Facebook, her business is called Incredible Score. She just came through and like. I didn't really have too much bad stuff on right. my collections, but what about student loans? There, I was still in school. Yeah, so like, you don't I gotta just worry about. I stopped going to pick mm-hmm. for my master's program. Okay, so, state Miss Master C. Yeah, we ain't know that. I got a year left. I'll probably finish that in some time. Just not right now. You school will finish that right now. Yeah. But she taught me how to like maintain credit, how to mm-hmm. gain credit. Because my credit wasn't terrible. Right. I just didn't have no report. Like, I didn't have no credit cards. I didn't have no loans, except for my student loans, which was in, like, a still standing, so it wasn't affecting me. And she honestly, one day we talked on the phone for, like, a whole hour, and she put me in my bag. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, ever since then, that's all I care about right now is getting my credit real, like, 800. Like, I'm trying to get my credit extra high. So, that's, so what's her name? Jaquela Stevens. Jaquela Stevens. Mm-hmm. Right now, I'm working with Moses. Moses yeah. from Exotic mm-hmm. Babs with my credit score. And I favorite. wish that, I think in the black families, that a lot of us should talk to our kids about that. We learn about a lot of stuff. We don't learn about the stuff that kind of matters, like borrowed money, you know. And I'm not blaming our parents. They can't teach us what they don't know. Mm-hmm. But we can teach them what they don't know. So exactly. it's kind of like on us. So, All right. You a hairstylist? Yeah. Okay. Did you ever have a crazy experience with a client, customer, or colleague? So it don't have to necessarily be hair. It could be you do social work. It could be anything. What's the craziest experience you ever had? You ain't got a name drop, but you right. could tell us the situation. I, um, so I recently opened up a shop. It's called the Splash House. It's on the north side. And Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. It'll be a year coming up in August. So it's just been a different environment for me now. Like, you know, I'm not in my hair studio or in my home no more mm-hmm. as to where people are coming in, like, you know, and respecting my home You're right. as to where this is like a public business place. Some people don't even know that this is my shop. Like, mm-hmm. I don't I don't stand on my, oh, welcome to my salon. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know. Right. Like, other than that, this is just the hair salon. As you're coming in to get your hair, I'm bringing your, Kayla's bringing here. You don't, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. And um, I have a 15 minute late policy. After 15 minutes, your appointment is canceled. Bitch, me too. Canceled. You be meaning. texting them how far along is you, if you, or what you do? At the time of your appointment, if your appointment's at 11 o'clock, that's when I take my first client. I'll text at 11 o'clock. Hi, this is Splashy Style. Just reminding that you have a 15 minute grace period. Right. At 11 15, your appointment will be canceled. Mm hmm. Mo, ain't that how it go? I be on it. It be it, it be eleven sixteen. Sorry, yeah, bag. Because now I'm going into my next client. Right. Who's sitting back, sitting here, who's going to make a Facebook post about me and start exactly. her here 15 to 30 minutes late. And they don't understand. It's not even me. It's other people I have to accommodate exactly. for. So tell me the experience. What happened? So um, I canceled her. Mm-hmm. We was texting back and forth. We was. She was on the way. We was texting back and forth. And like she still came. And, I had to and my it. thing is turn around. But you know you ain't going to make it turn around. She came like 27 minutes late. Mm-hmm. It was probably like 11, 27 now. Right. So if it was 11, 16, I Maybe. probably really wouldn't yeah. get her here. Like 11, uh-huh. 17, 11, 18. Yeah, I'm doing your hair. It's 11, 27. So what was like the experience? How did you handle it? She was on some kind of reschedule. But like aggressively. Yeah. And my thing is be nice. Cause I don't have to do anything at all. Don't talk to me crazy. Don't talk to me with like a mm-hmm. different tone. Talk to me how I'm talking to you. Give me the respect that I'm giving you. And this, the hardest part about being a business owner is there's nobody to protect us. Mm-hmm. When people get on the internet and they make them, them post, it's a lot of people on their side, but who's going to protect a small business? What about if you accept a payment from cash app mm-hmm. and somebody calls cash app and try to get a refund? There's no one to back us up. None. That's not cool. Not at all. That's hmm. why I just feel like I'm about to start having like, People sign, everybody who signed, returning clients, something to sign. Absolutely. Because I can't keep, t- like, I won't take else. People always dispute their deposit. It's always something. It's $30, so I'm not going to do that. Right. But if but that $30 add up to add every up. deposit that you're 
refund it on Square. And it's not fair because this is how I make my money. I can't get paid time off. I can't okay. get vacation time. I can't. Bitch, I'm banking on you, literally. Like, you're the bank. If you don't come, that's okay. But let me know ahead of time. I need my... This is how I make my money. And people always, you know, they try to say that you can't have the policy as to where you're taking the money. Mm-hmm. Like, people do, like, if you don't know cause, no shows, I'm charging your car 50%. I don't do that. But I don't throw shade on people who do. Who do, right. Because say that $150 is what I needed to pay a bill to, mm-hmm. and you didn't come, and I didn't know. I could have posted I had an opening. An uh, opening, I right. I could have posted... I got a last minute squeeze in, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. Now that that money's gone, like I still have to make money. Make my money you in. Book a hotel, they take your money ASAP. Right. The whole hotel. The thing is, some people who work jobs, they know that they're going to make $1,200 on that check. We don't ever motherfucking know. So it's Literally. like. I'm really banking there's days on it. I make 200. There's days I make 2,000. Exactly. There's days I don't make nothing. Exactly. There, I could go a whole week without an appointment. Making money every day, you got to manage your money. It's almost like a drug dealer. Like, Literally. I cannot hit the mall with this because I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow, I cannot have a client next week. Absolutely. COVID could come shut this shit down again. I love doing her day. That's my passion. Like, that's what I want to be. I want to be a celebrity here. Style. Do you? That's what I really want to do. Like, my degree is just so like, you know, when I turn 40, or 30, when I retire, I got mm-hmm. money. Into when bed. I'm I chilling. I could be going and using my degree. I could be a therapist. Right. Like, you know, I could be a cop. I could be a social worker. Like, you I'm know. so proud of you. Psychologist. And they don't know that. And here's, this is the the real reason why I want to do the last talk with Ren, because a lot of people just see a hairstylist. They don't know who you are. They don't know what else you can do. I am multifaceted. I am, I could do a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Uh, question for you. What advice would you give to 16 year old self? Girl. If I could talk to me 16, I was mm-hmm. throwing $100 plats every day, too. I would have saved every dime. Girl. <laughs> every dime. I always be like, where the I fuck is that money? <laughs> Absolutely. If I would have saved my money, even if I took $20 out of each head, mm-hmm. like $10 out of whatever I was doing to support what I was doing. Like, I didn't have to pay my phone bill. I wasn't paying any bills. Anything. I was in my mom's crib. Absolutely. I was going to Westinghouse. Like, I was buying so, uh, Sneaker Villa fits downtown. Literally. I would catch the bus down there, go to the clearance rack on Sneaker Villa and just bash shit. I was tricking on the 16-year-old niggas, Los, probably. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, 16-year-olds, if y'all watching this, put some money aside. Oh, Listen girl. to us. I, that I, made, I just be like, where is it at? Mm-hmm. Like, where is that bread at? Mm-hmm. Like... This revenue said eighty nine thousand, but what? Where's that? Where's it at? Yeah. (laughs) Another question: How would you prepare for a busy day ahead? Like, say you gotta do. Oh, I got an interview with Ren, and I gotta do this and that. Do you like take notes in a journal, set an alarm? How do you remember? So, or is it all over the place? You can do it. No, I really wish that I did that. That's Mm -hmm. what I want to do. Like, I plan on every day getting more organized. Like, right now, that's one of my biggest goals is to get more organized. I want to show you something. Okay. All right. So, this is my alarm clock. So, it might say some shit like workout, spend time with God, Mm -hmm. hair store. I got had to get some hair storings and some ripped jeans. Um, Red cups, red bull. So, I just sometimes, you know, you could change. They say, get ready, boo. I'll be writing my own little notes. But you could, like, change the label and just set an alarm and when it go off. And although you might hit snooze or something, it's just a reminder. Reminder. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even have an alarm for the morning time. I, like, get up at the same time every day, literally. I feel like my body just... It already knows. at the same time every day. My same client. I have my first clients at 11 Mm a.m. every day. Always. What time do you usually take your last guest? It just depends on the style. Mm-hmm. If I'm doing a medium, not less. I try to just do one or two a day. Like, yeah. medium, medium. I try to just do one or two of those a day. But if I'm doing a sewing, I'll do five of those. If I'm doing a quick weave, I'll do five of those. Mm-hmm. Six braids, eight braids, ten braids, twelve braids. I'm trying to do three and four of those. Mm-hmm. Like, just to... I mean, I'm, my whole thing is to meet a quota. Like... I'm trying to at I least got a quota make fifteen hundred dollars a week. Girl. At, least. at like, least, and if I don't make that, then my next my next week is gotta right, be gotta three make, bands. Yeah. Like I'm doubling like, up. I'm See, they don't know. It's a whole science. Yeah, to I this. gotta meet a quota. So on my website, I make it so that three people could book a day. Mm-hmm. But once I'm booked, and I see like I open my book every month on the fifteenth. Once I see what this month is looking like. Oh, all right. I'm gonna open up another slot. Right. Whatever. What, now I'm taking squeezins. Like now it's a hundred dollars for an extra. Yeah. What are some things as a woman that you see other women tolerate that you would never accept from a man? 
Like, what is your biggest, like, mm -mm, bitch, you got that? (laughs) So, like, I love so hard. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, because you almost a cancer. Don't play that. I love so hard. So, even if I don't fuck with you, I'll fuck with you. Mm -hmm. Like, but I'm not tolerating no baby. What you mean? Like, like he already had a baby or a baby on you? A baby on me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like... And that's that's like... That's done. I don't even have kids. That's not not fair to me. talk at all. Mm -hmm. Period. I don't have a kid. And, like, I just hope that that would never happen to me. That's something that I just know that I can't take, like, as a woman, just, like, that's some shit that'll, like, really fuck me. Break your heart. Yeah. And have me, like, I don't want to fuck with nobody. I'm turned off. Yeah. You I'll know, fuck myself, not tra- <laughs> girl. Some things turn me off. I'm not gonna say a, a, a person having their own baby outside of me is gonna turn me off, but like a baby on me is like mm-hmm. a big yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ain't no shade to the woman who do. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't dare because, like you know, some people take what they take. Like you know what I'm saying, and I'm just saying that's just something that I can't. I cannot can't take handle you, that. Handle, yeah. I can't. Like that's just some shit that my heart couldn't take. Take like, yeah. That's just say because I'm not. Like, some of them is strong, <laughs> especially if I don't have a kid. Mm-hmm. Like if I don't have a kid, um, I'm not gonna let you be a bum ass dad. Not gonna right. take care of your kid. kid like, right. So if I do take you, like I do, like we're taking this kid into our home. Like mm-hmm. where this is. This is like our, our kid, baby, like, yeah. yeah. And what I what I don't really care for is the women who have, I guess, a baby by somebody's boyfriend, and then they act like the kid can't. Come. First of all, you did have a baby with somebody's boyfriend. Yeah, my man, and your yeah. Man, and my man wants the like I do here, her. bitch. Don't do that. I'll right. break the little right. girl's hair. <laughs> Like that's her loss, right? That's her loss, and a lot of women are trying to like uh, be like spiteful. Mm-hmm. And I feel like if you felt like it was okay to have a baby with this man, you should feel like it's you should trust his judgment. And you should trust that he would have nothing, but he wouldn't put your baby in harm. Mm-hmm. I hate that the women try to control, you know, control who the baby's around. And that's because they're still dealing with the man. Mm-hmm. Like that's when that coming with the man who's now you're just still giving her, entertaining with her, giving her a. A reason. A reason for her mm-hmm. to feel like I don't want my baby over there. Over there, like, right. I feel like that because he's fucking gay. Look at the bigger picture. I got more money than you, bitch. You want a rich stepmom mm-hmm. or not? So I named this question, eat your words. Mm-hmm. When is the last time someone said something to you that ended up backfiring on them? You know what I mean? You got to think about it. She got to no, think about I it. No, I don't. Uh, she know. This shit's off the top. Mm-hmm. Like, this shit pushed me every day. I grabbed, like, crazy because of this. Mm-hmm. Like, when I went to school, like, when I first went to school, like, I didn't even go to school yet. This is when I knew that I was going to school. I was saving money and shit. Like, some shit had happened. And one of my friends, like, needed my help or whatever, and I couldn't help her. Because I'm like, I'm about to go to school. Right. I won't be back till November. Ain't mm-hmm. no telling when the fuck I'll get money again. Mm-hmm. And she just was like... Like, she's going to call, like, she's not going to graduate. Like, oh, she thought she was just going to yeah, have fun? like, she's going to go up there and have fun. Mm-hmm. She'll be home. Like. And what? What you say, bitch? Eat your words. Like, when I say there was times where, like, my brother got shot. Mm-hmm. Like, my papa died. All type of shit while I was up school. So much shit that had me. Like, I'm not going back to school. Right. I don't have that. I got shit to handle at home. Mm-hmm. And that shit will just come in my head. Like, nah. Cause that's not that you just went up there to turn up. Mm-hmm. That's what you say. Like, it just come up. It's crazy. Cause looking at the moment, it probably hurts you, mm-hmm. but looking back in hindsight, it helped you so much. I thank you so much. Yeah. For thank that you. Shit, that's what made me yep. finish school. Like Absolutely. my senior year, I was thinking about that shit what every day about to give up senioritis, 12 credits left. Like, man, fuck this. Mm-hmm. Like I'm tired. Waking up every day. What about, okay, so we kind of grew up the same. I'm from the north side, but my daddy from Hollywood. So I know, I knew Tajay before this. But we kind of grew up the same as far as like uh, death mm-hmm. and with the young men around us. Mm-hmm. At a certain age, I'm, I'm, I think my first young, somebody passed away was probably Lumber. We was in like 11th grade or mm-hmm. something. We was kids. Um, did you eventually start getting numb to that? Like the funerals and just all the shit going yeah, on. People die now. It's yeah. just like, like it happened so much mm-hmm. that it's just like, damn. Yeah. Like, is there some funerals that, this is so fucked up that we got to talk about this? Where? Are there some funerals that you just couldn't go to or didn't want to do? Yeah, I know I had my badass passed away. Like, I had came home from school and everything mm-hmm. that weekend to go to his funeral. 
But I couldn't because it was just like that I didn't want to see him like that. Right. Like, you know, this was my guy. Like, mm-hmm. We was three and four years old. Yeah. Like, so it was just like, <laughs> no, nah, I'd rather not. Like, I'd rather just leave him with memories, like, mm-hmm. in my head. Instead Good, of, positive memories. Right, because that's the word torn. Like, you know, I just always remember, like, that's the last thing I remember to him. Mm-hmm. So it was like, I wouldn't even want to see, see him that. like yeah, that. Yeah, right. I wouldn't even want to keep thinking of it like mm-hmm. that. Like, I just think of... How you stepped on, like how shit was when you was here. When you like. were here. I want to know, is there anyone your age or our age group that inspires you? So a lot of times we ask about inspirations and it's like a grandma or a famous person. Mm-hmm. But is there anybody your age who you'd be like, damn, bitch, I want to be more like you? There's two girls. Tell like, me that about I really one. like mm-hmm. every day, like every single day. Raquel. Uh-huh. And the Jordan. hairstylist. Yes. I follow her. Raquel the hairstylist and Jordan. Who's for, Jordan? Uh, Bling and Luxury. I heard her. Girl. What'd like, she say? When I say what do you like about him? Jordan, she's younger. I'm 24. I think she's 20 or 21. Mm-hmm. Boss. Like, her thrive for this shit. Like, she got a whole different drive. Mm-hmm. Like, and she had it young. So it's, it's what pushes her. Like, she's going to be a millionaire. Right. You can like, see it in her. If she's not already. Like, and Raquel, like, she just, like, the way she carries herself and handles shit. Like, she stands on her business. Like, good for them. Studio B is her. Like, what you know what you I'm say? saying? That's she her stands shit. on it. Damn. Like, and we all young. Mm-hmm. Like, We're shit, fucking everybody. young as hell. Yeah, <laughs> We're like, babies out here like, still. Like, and you know, I always be like, oh, like, I want to, uh, I want my shit to be like this person, that person. If I Google my celebrity, like the people I look up to's age, Charlemagne and them, they're fucking almost 50. I'll be like, oh, it's okay. I'm not Uh, doing too bad for a 24-year-old. Every day I'm in my head, like, I'm not where I want to be. Like, I got to push harder. Mm -hmm. I got to grind. Like, you get what you put in. Right. So if I don't have no clients, I'm going to the shop. I'm doing Mm -hmm. inventory. I'm doing something. something. Yes. I'm trying to sell this hair. I'm posting bundles, videos of bundles. Like, I have to make a dollar a day. At least, okay. I'm glad we talked day, about that. Be a millionaire. Like, you so, gotta um, my question for you is: When's the last time you spent a whole day in the house, or just a whole day and ain't spend no money? You know, when you go outside, you gotta spend money. You gotta buy small fry from McDonald's, and then you gotta buy some lip gloss for the hair store. Like, when's the last time you just didn't spend no money, girl? I don't even know. You know Always spend. Don't you spend money every day? every day? Life is expensive. Every day. Like, um, gas is expensive as hell. Girl, I know. I ain't going to go see no nigga. He got to come to me. Girl. I put it on you, bitch. But you going to have to come to me. Um, <laughs> Like, but, uh, girl. <laughs> Another question. We're all going through a breakthrough in life. We're all in different seasons and stages. You're pretty mm-hmm. as hell. You got your glasses. You got your outfit. You got your hood, right? Shout out Destiny yeah, face. face. Um, You're beautiful. Thank but we're you. all going through something. Mo, Dev, I'm sure we're all struggling with something that we don't see. What is it right now that you're working on while going through your breakthrough? Like me, my thing is cleanliness. I want my space to be clean. I want my car to be clean. My, I was my mom's only child. My mom didn't make me clean up Girl, and all that shit. So now that I'm a woman, like, why don't you make me do this thing? So it's like we're almost parenting ourselves. What traits do you think that you have that you want to leave behind? Moving into your 25. You about to be 25. You're 25, chapter. I would say cleanliness to yeah. an organization. Yeah. Like, I just wish that, like, my mom cleaned my room growing up. Girl. Like, I didn't Look, really have... Everybody, mama clean their room. <laughs> mom, stop cleaning your kids' rooms. <laughs> I already have no dirty-ass mm-hmm. room, no dirty-ass crib. Like, and when I would go over my grandma's on the weekend and shit, she would make me fan and dust shit down. Mm-hmm. But now, like, I wake up and I live with my man. Like, you know what I'm saying? He takes care of things. He handles shit. Right. Like, so now I just be like, let me straighten this up. Like, let me have a house looking I, a little presentable yeah. so that he don't have to come in and be like, damn, bitch. Like, What's going on? The motherfucking living room's a mess, da, 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 But I hate washing the dishes. I ain't Me too, but bitch, it only take five minutes. If you just play a song, don't it take quick, y'all, quick I dishes. fucking... Yeah, hate take dishes. Me I too. The fuck That's out. my least favorite. I'll fill up. And then Mo be like, "Why don't you put in a dishwasher?" I'm like, "I don't trust the dishwasher." It doesn't. You gotta clean it off. Regardless, it yeah. Oh, <laughs> dreads, fade, or a ball head. <laughs> so I'm feeling the dread fade combo, like the dreads up top. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Really? Oh, cause your man got here yeah. now. That's, that's why she said it. Now me, 
I like the fucking fade or the ball head. Something about dreads give me girly vibes. Cause this one time I was hitting this nigga with, I was hitting this nigga with dreads. He kept flipping his hair like flipping it like a girl. <laughs> and oh, I yeah, know that, that is I know. Be like this with his hair, like I'll just move it. I'll be like, okay, bang <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Is you doing that for? Fuck, you waving on dreads? Yeah, for? like I'm just like get a fade or. A- <laughs> Get a fade or a ball head, please. All right, next. Would you date a guy with a nose piercing? Okay, so... If you wasn't in a relationship... Hypothetically, <laughs> no disrespect to the niggas who do got a nose ring. Mm-hmm. No. Me either. I'm not dating no niggas who's doing anything that I would do and I want to get my nose Feel me? I got my shit pierced. Why yeah. do my nigga got to have a nose piercing? You got an extra nose ring for me? No. Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't like that. <laughs> she think it's so funny. No. What about sex toys or not? Y'all. 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 What's your favorite? Like, is you like a dildo girl or like a vap, like a bullet yeah, vibrator girl? I'm a vibrate, a wand. Like, Bitch. I want to get hit from the front with the wand, get hit missionary with the wand. This is new. Yeah. This is never new for me. Yes. I thought that I was like a sex toy beast, but I, n- I don't have a wand yet. I'm going to get one tomorrow. No, you need to get one. Cravings. Like, what is something that you'll eat or that you used to eat or something you'll do that people be like, that's not normal? I'm like, I mean, I'm not you, a. You eat regular stuff? Yeah. You ain't I'm never eat baby powder? Never. Like, I've never ate cornstarch. I've never ate anything that's not good. Like, oh. I'm a big bitch. I need a <laughs> What you say? I, I need real food. I'm not powder. playing with y'all. Yeah, I never... I don't, I don't know. I just eat regular. What? I put sugar in my rice. People be like, what the fuck? Uh. I season my rice. But that's... Sugar and rice is bomb. What, my salmon patties? Yes. You got a good mom. Yeah, she threw that shit together. Okay. Dinner with two people, dead or alive? Like a celebrity or somebody that I could have a dinner you, with? You pick. If I could have a dinner with two, like them together, mm-hmm. y'all three, two people, and you, I'm not going cap. Mm-hmm. If I could have dinner with two people, it would be my Uncle Floyd and my Papa. Mm-hmm. They're both dead. That's it. They're dead and son. Mm-hmm. But I would want to like really just talk to them. Like, right. I would just want them to know. What like, questions would, wanna, would you ask? Like, is y'all cool? Right. That's all I. You know they are. You believe in God? Yeah. Yeah. I mean. I don't believe it. I don't believe that there's a whole lot of gods. I don't believe that there's Christian. Right. There's Muslims, a whole bunch of different Jews, right. And mm-hmm. I don't, I just believe there's one God. There's a half Absolutely. Power. Yeah. Like I don't pray to multiple different people. Me I don't either. pray every night. Mm-hmm. Like when I grew up, I used to pray a whole lot. My grandma taught me my prayers. I prayed over my food. But like, you know, when shit start happening in my life, I'm just like, where's this person y'all say who saves us? Yeah. So it's not that I don't believe he's not there. It's just at my moment in life right now, like, you know, a lot of shit happened that got me like, there's a God? Yeah. There's no way. <laughs> he made you fan ass. He sure did. But... Um, <laughs> top three rappers out right now. I ain't gonna cap. Baby's number one. That's everybody's favorite. Who's number two? My nigga, Skrilla Sock. I know that's right, bitch. Who's three? Big Lotto. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. Big Lotto, bitch. Because she just dropped in shit. She's popping her shit and she's young. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't understand her and be on so long. She's ghetto. She's ratchet and I fuck with her. She's thorough. She's yeah. solid. She's who she and is. She's, period. She's coming out. She's coming in and she's standing on shit. Yeah. Would you date Would you outside think? your race? Uh, did I or what I? Would you? Uh, Would you date, date like go with or fuck? <laughs> Okay, fuck. You know, lesbians be getting popular. The girls? Yeah, so I'll probably date a Latino bitch. Is that but, your type? Would that, is that your I mean, type? That's not if, my type. If you had... I'm saying if I would go on my race, it would be a Latino A Latino girl? But I'm sorry. No. Other than that, I need me a black A black king, man. Right. Period. I Y'all see what we on. Like that. I seen you post a lot in Miami. What's the wildest thing you ever did in Miami? You ever have one night stand in Miami? Man. Jeez. He's spit in my mouth. Ooh. I used cold. to be like that. Do you know that you used to like For that? Real? <laughs> it was cold. I was like, whatever. I, I was younger. I was so just nasty. Ah, or are you with it now? Would you be cool with it? Like if somebody yeah. said like, open up your mouth, would you do it? Mm-hmm. But me too. Me too. I want to do the spin. You, yeah, me too. I was like, ew. I don't let guys finger me 
because I'm older now. I'm not uh, trying to get beat. Pull out some hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, I don't know if I want your fingers, especially them niggas who don't got no nails. Mm-hmm. You ever see a guy with short nails? Like, then they be dirty with the black up under it. Uh, then they be biting them. Then it's fuck up. Mm. Um, did you ever have a terrible... Oh, this is a good question. If you feel bad about answering it, I'll answer it. But did you ever have a ter- terrible experience nor sex? So, yeah. <laughs> For sure. The first time I ever had sex. For real? You remember the first time? I could never forget it. <laughs> Me either. Literally. What the happened? First time I ever had sex. Like the dude who took my virginity gave me chlamydia. Oh, not him telling me I was born with it. No, oh. that's the worst part. And was trying to convince me. So here's the oh, thing: are you fucking dumb. You know when you <laughs> when you get an STD, we're a grown here. The doctor says you gotta tell your sex partners. I will never, ever, 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 ever tell a nigga like. The first time I had sex, I got chlamydia too. So we're in this together. Mm-hmm. Um, and I brought it up to the dude. But I will never do that again because niggas act like they weren't the one who gave it to you and I know where I got it from. So No, like I really know. Because I Yeah, I know. You know there's an app. My sister told me about it. You could anonymously tell the person. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. (laughs) I feel like in general, if somebody has something and I have to tell you, it shouldn't be a oh, it didn't come from me. Like it should be more of a thank you for letting me know. I'll go get checked out. It shouldn't and be an issue. That's why I really didn't know. I'm lying. I, I after I already went crazy, the way me and him, we went together for two years, mm-hmm. so I really didn't want to break up. I'm not even going to lie. Mm-hmm. Like I really didn't want to break <laughs> up. But what made me want to break up was him on some. Like standing on you was born with that. Everything you could say, you, he could have been like, "Man, you're lying." Somebody else yeah. said it before. Yeah, you could have said anything. You, you gonna say I was born with and it? Then, so it's like <laughs> fucking me up so bad because how dare you say that? Like you're really trying to come at my mom, <laughs> right? What you I say? Mean, so what you trying to say, my mom? <laughs> my mom, mom gave me like, like, <laughs> and that's not cool. <clears throat> so with that being said, do you prefer condom sex or no condom sex? Hypothetically, mm-hmm. condom. Yeah. Although if I'm allergic to latex, you're Are not you? going to get So what you got to use? Goat skin? Bitch, I'll use latex. Huh. What you say? I'm using whatever. So. You're not going to get me. I'm sorry. Now that we talking about the first sexual experiences, I don't have a boyfriend, so I definitely have condom sex. If it was up to me, I wouldn't. I don't like the way they smell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do give off a weird vibe. Like, ew, smells yeah, like a glove. But if I didn't have a man, I would definitely use a condom. Because for sure. at the end of the day, a condom never did me no wrong. Herpes yeah. be out and about, and you won't get a bitch. <laughs> won't get me. Yeah, a condom never did Not me no happen. wrong. No. Have you ever had something laying around the house that you wish you put away before your company came? My cousin Kayla just comes to my house all the time without warning. Yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, a bitch loves a wand. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Was the wand out? Wow. Was you using it? No. Uh, But did she see it? Did she know what it was? Yeah. It looked like a microphone, don't it? Yeah. Uh. She was like, what is you on, bro? I'm like, you know what I'm on? (laughs) Don't ask. I said, don't ask. What you say? No question. Don't (laughs) even (laughs) ask. What is something that people do that makes you cringe? Like, ew. It could be anything in the world. Like, not get to a fucking bag. I just say that's nasty. No, I'm not even going to lie. There's see. so much money to be made. Like, literally, sell your pussy. I don't care what you do. What you say? I don't get care. Fucking money. Let me see your hand. This is what makes me cringe. Say I'm going to the store and then they be like, oh, here's your change. A stranger do that. Yeah, what you say? Why the fuck? Why the fuck you touch me? I don't even want the money. Yeah, that really turns me off. Turns me off so bad. You like tall guys or short guys? You ever have a short dude push up on you? Me and Sherm's the same height. Same height. Is that okay? Like, well, he's probably like two or three inches taller. Taller. But this little nigga, I'm dying. (laughs) (laughs) Little niggas got big dicks. Do they? Yeah. I never fucked one, but I've just overheard. Little nigga. <laughs> she say it's just a rumor. Yeah. Tall niggas. Some. So the yeah. tall, what super skinny tall nigga. nigga I had? Uh-huh. Little dick. Negative. Slate me. Oh. To the gods. <laughs> no cap. I had one tall joint slate, but I think he popped apart because his dick was hard as fuck for too long. <laughs> like, I just say, like, too long. Like, it's time for you to go. I'm sorry. 
terrible experience during sex? I had a terrible experience. This nigga's dick stank and he was popping. He was popping. He ain't around no more. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna say what happened, huh? Whatever, but he ain't in love, he ain't walking around no more. But <laughs> dick stank. <laughs> stank, stank. And I'm like, a lot of it, there's no way y'all bitches ain't tell him his dick stank. Cause if we being honest, I was going, you know, give him a little. And when I, and I don't do that no more. I'm a big girl. I, the older I get, the older I get, the more I realize everybody don't deserve head. But I was like, oh, he's popping. Let me suck his dick. And when I, girl, and when I bent down, I was like, this is, this is how I knew something was wrong. I bent down to, and it was, <laughs> it was stinking a little bit. And he was like, no, it's cool. You ain't got suck dick. And I'm like, he knew. He knew his dick. Come on now, if a bitch is off and a nigga's trying to eat her pussy, she's definitely gonna have a BV. Come on now. <laughs> she killed him. She said that he had BV, yo. That was mean. Maybe he did. He, but he was like, nah, it's cool. And I'm like, who's turning down here? You know you stink. Facts. If a bitch say, no, nah, don't eat my pussy, she knows she stinks. She knows she stinks, dog. So Who's doing like, that? I don't even like kid. Girl, girl. banging. Are you a heels or tennis shoe type of girl? I'm going to throw the sneaks on, yeah. but when it's time to pop out, I'm popping my shit. You going to pop your shit? Yeah, but I'm a, I'm a block heel type bitch. You'll never see me in those skinny heels. Um, do you still further your education, like as far as it being a stylist or even doing your social work? Do you even hop on YouTube and watch little videos to see? Girl, what? when I'm not at the shop, mm-hmm. literally, I'm on my phone all day, every day watching frontals. Good for you. Closures, like, I'm just trying to get better. Do you? I noticed that if I take a break from doing hair, say I go to Miami or something for the week and I come back, my work is not the same as it is when I'm working every day. Do you ever notice a difference from when you take a break? Yeah, I do feel like when you're consistent with it every day, you be like, damn, I just kill every uh-huh. style. Every shit, right. Yeah, then when you come back, you be like, okay, maybe I could have had a little more spray on that left uh-huh. side. Um, half on bills or what? Do you think that a woman should go half on the bills or do you think that the man should pay all the bills? Or should you pay all the bills? Ladies, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's one thing if it's your crib and he's coming to stand at night two and three times a week, going back to mom's, whatever, whatever. But if you live in this crib and you're in this pussy, you're paying these bills. What you say, all that? Anything I do is extra. <clears throat> How do you ask for money? Do you be like, Ooh, I'm scared to ask for money. Like, like if you need something, you know how bitches be scared. Mm-hmm. Well, how would you ask? I'd be just like this. I'd be like, I need some money. Uh-huh. Wrong with girl, I'd be like, I'm gonna go get my hair done. Uh-huh. You're not gonna pay for your bitch's hair. I'm confused. Right. My nails, yeah. my, my hair, my wax. Well, I got a self care day. Mm-hmm. What day? It just depends on us. So I'm, I'm trying to be off on Mondays mm-hmm. now. So I'm trying to do it every Monday. Trying to get at least, you know, a yawny stain. My nose right. done, my eyebrow. Not all in one, but something, something for me to be able to take care of. Yeah, but yeah, you have to pay. I'm not... You gotta pay. Mm-hmm. You have to pay. So, this is like going back to the beginning of the conversation, mm-hmm. but what made you want to do hair or start doing hair? Like, how did that work out? So, I truly did for Hollywood my whole life. Like, and I used to just... Always do everybody's hair. Did you? Yeah, period. We're going out here and we're about to go against them. Was you charging like way less? You ever do box braids for nothing? nothing, We're doing these mohawks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get my hair (laughs) braided. We used to do that all the time. And and your sister's got their mohawks (laughs) in. I did their shit with designs and everything because, yeah, y'all's not coming to look better than us. We're all on one accord. Uh huh. But then when I went to Lincoln or whatever, my Aunt Pratt used to always send me. Like every month, mm-hmm. every single month, every other month, sometimes I'll get, I don't know what's coming. Right. It'll be packs of braid hair. Something. Or it'll be packs of purple pack. Mm-hmm. Like just some weave. What I kept doing my hair all of So now it's like my whole freshman year, I did my hair every time. I'm doing bobs, mm-hmm. bangs, all type of shit. By the time sophomore year, junior year, I was the Lincoln University hairstylist. Like, what do you miss the most about college? I've never been to college. I don't know what it's like. All I hear is stories. What do? You, oh, and I want to ask you something else. But first, what do you miss the most about college? The hospitality. Oh, they sweet down south. 
You was down south. You no, was in Philly. Like, you was yeah, in Philly. Well, it was like right outside of Philly yeah. or whatever. But just like looking out for they each other. They should love yeah. to the splash. Mm-hmm. Like everybody. <laughs> even when I go up there and I take people with me for spring flings and homecomings and shit, they be like, oh, you heard. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. everywhere I go, I'm on what I'm on. And my fuckers just fuck with me for who I am. So. Right. Like we just went up there a couple weeks ago. <laughs> And it was just all love. Like, it was me and my homegirls. We went. We met one of my bros from oh, you gotta take me. He paid for us all to eat. Like, they're like, oh, okay. Sweet. Like, right. yeah, it's them vibes. Like, we good. I'm good everywhere I go. D.C., Philly, Delaware, mm-hmm. Maryland. My fucking the Virgin Islands. My sister, Lakia. Like, she's from the Virgin Islands. Like, it's, it's all there. Like, everywhere I go. Like, yeah, it's all there. Everywhere. That's what made. That's what I loved about school. Every state I go to, I want to know somebody in. The like you, I, you are different than the typical college girls that I know. Mm-hmm. The college girls that I know, because I didn't go to college, but I did live on my own. So around what time, like 18, 17, mm-hmm. you went yeah. to college, but I had my own crib and I had to pay bills. The college shit, you gotta figure. Like most people who go that shit set in stone. Mm-hmm. Their moms <clears> never <throat> sees their parents went to college. Mm-hmm. Like they're going to the school. Your parents got planned out for you. They got bank account set right. up with money in it for you to go to school like that's how it would be for my daughter mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying moving forward for every generation after me like if that's what you want to do go to school or whatever like that shit's set in stone paid for like I would love for my daughter to go to Lincoln like and go to my alma mater where I graduated from that would be that's or sweet. Pitt like that's where I'm going to get my masters from like mm-hmm. I would love for my kids to, to go do there. that like so when do- people go to school that's set in stone for them like for people like us to go to school like that's some shit that came like, like I used to, I'm not going to college. Mm-hmm. That's some shit that came with me having all bad grades, but I had a crazy SAT score. Right. So I got accepted to Lincoln on the spot. Like a mm-hmm. recruiter came to Westinghouse and was like, yeah, you're accepted, whatever, whatever. Good. So I'm going to school with like nothing. Right. Like, my mom didn't even want me to go to Lincoln or something. You're going, I want you to go to IUP. That's 45 minutes mm-hmm. away from me. I could get to you there. I could, like, I could bring help, you money. Right. I could bring, bring you groceries. Food, yeah. As to where I'm at Lincoln, five hours away, the ride's four hours and 45 minutes. Like, the Greyhound's a 10-hour right? Yeah. Going to Lincoln, did you, um, it's different from Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. Did you, did you get to see how black people are and just in a, in a different vibe? Like, yeah, you know, like you, you everything's figure, not, that's what made me even see the support from other people. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't see that shit from the people standing with you. How was you getting your clients? Like, how did everybody know you did hair up there? Was you, te- like, they just saw the styles or how did it work? I swear it was just like me and then like, I'm cool with everybody. Mm-hmm. So like, I got my braids and I'm like, oh, who did your braids on campus? I'm like, me. Like, oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Then I did like, I was doing like teachers here. Mm-hmm. Like, I was going to say that. Here. Yeah. Like, so everybody the dean knew. Of the school, Dr. Lee was hitting me to get her hair done. Like, this yeah. what, like, it was set and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. that was, and that's why I feel like it was for you. Mm-hmm. It's for you. Cause that's not what I had on my mind. I used to be saying to my mom, I'm not doing hair up Lincoln when I get mm-hmm. up school. That's not what I'm trying to do. I got up there and that shit made me be who I am today. So I know we talked about you was like, is there a God? But do you believe in divine energy? Like how you said, mm-hmm. what's for you is for you. And yeah, think- and manif- like manifest that right. shit. Yeah, that shit's all real. Like I say today right now, that's why I say every single day. Like mm-hmm. I'm 24. When I'm 26, I'm going to be a millionaire. Absolutely. And I'm changing all, ge- breaking all generational curses. Is it, even if it's not me, my daughter's going like, I'm going like, change this shit like mm-hmm. in the world like even if I don't my daughter or my daughter's daughter like it's gonna come from me like it's this shit is set in stone that yeah like it's I'm, happening. I'm paving the way like. and that's the reason why I'm I can't let everyone else discourage me yeah y'all got babies and you got a husband and you but what's for me will happen for me in mm-hmm. due timing I wanted to do boss talk four years ago but mm-hmm. four years ago I didn't even have the experience a lot of the stuff we're talking well, about I wouldn't even know what it. to talk Mm-hmm. Shit, I wouldn't know what to say. What you go through um, who you are. Who's an inspiration to you that's not your age? Like somebody who inspires you, keeps you motivated. I ain't gonna you lie. can choose a couple people. Like Courtney <laughs> Bradley, mm-hmm. Ariana Bay, mm-hmm. like Nautica. Like, these is the, like, people be like, oh, like that's that's my, yeah, I look up to her. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. Like, nah. Nautica just went and did that hair show with Eric and Tay and them. Like, what you say? If they could do it, yeah, I could do it. The yeah. Ari girl, she in Atlanta mm-hmm. and like she doing her thing. Like, and then Courtney, like her, her grind is everything. Different. 
oh my god like I, I never I didn't know her I never knew her but she I did an eyebrow class with her and then now she's a client like I do her she comes to get her braids done all the time mm -hmm. like every single time she's shit in my chair she's telling me like what I need to be doing to make make this easier for me she's for not you. a hairstylist but she does waxes and mm -hmm. stuff like so she's always telling me like you gotta move like this this and this like when I was your age I was doing this and I wish I had somebody to tell me like that's not even that's not even my big sister a person who see what you're doing and can tell you do this differently, mm -hmm. like do this this way. It's all like okay, so she see where um like where I'm lacking at, right? Like my promotion and working in, like that's everything right mm -hmm. now. That's that's getting you where it needs to be. So for her to take time off her prom promotion and working in and tell me like oh download Canva, do this, this is what I be doing, showing me straight on her mm -hmm. computer, like she didn't have to, like she don't have she to don't do have that. to do that. Sure. How do you keep your personal life and your business life separate? Is a hairstylist we're very, very close to our clients. Sometimes you're a therapist. Sometimes they might talk about their baby's dads, their boyfriends. Sometimes you might know some of the business that they talk about. Do you speak on everything? Do you show your hand or do you just keep a professional like, or is there certain clients that you bust it up with and you know who to, do you know, how do you separate that? You know what I'm saying? So I feel like for you to even be able to sit here and talk to me about that conversation, like you you're, you're looking on like an input mm -hmm. or sometimes people just want to talk. Like mm -hmm. they just want somebody to hear them out. Like, right. Yeah. So if you're coming to me, like what you're saying, we're busting it up and we're talking like and a shop shut down and it's just me and you, me and you. rap to me. We're going to bust it up. We're going to talk like, and it's going to be like, we never even had that conversation when right. you left because that's how it's supposed to be. When you got a client, you don't repeat what she's saying. Right. Like, I can sit here and tell you about me and my friends all day. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're my hairstylist and I'm telling you, like, yeah, my friend is hanging with somebody or went to somebody to get something done that I'm not feeling, whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. keep that between you and her. Absolutely. Don't go telling her friend out. Mm -hmm. Like, probably thinking because they had that conversation and they talked about it and we're all your client. Like, thinking that, like, we're here and we're comfortable to talk about that and all because mm -hmm. she confided in, in you. In you. So now when you repeat that to somebody else, I don't even know she said that. Right. Um, I think it's very important to create a safe space for clients, but I also think that the client should give that back to us sure. because mm -hmm. if I'm opening up to you, I expect this to be confidential. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be nothing. I don't, I hate, this is the one thing I hate. I hate when I'm talking to someone and I say, don't tell nobody. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to say that. I shouldn't that. have to say that. Mm -hmm. So if I have, and if I say that to you, that mean, I think you told yeah. somebody something previously. Right. Like, if I gotta keep saying, yeah, this conversation between me and mm -hmm. you, motherfucker, I'm throwing shots, bitch. You right. running Catch your mouth. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Don't be just repeating what I'm saying right now. Oh, my goodness. Um, What advice would you give to someone who... I think we talked about this, the older you, but mm -hmm. what advice would you give to just people watching in general? It could be if older people, younger people, what would you say right now? Like what, like for instance, for me, what I'm learning in this season in my life, not to explain nothing. I used to be the type that don't like send a paragraph. I'm not doing that shit. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not explaining myself because I'm showing myself. I'm not doing that. So what advice would you give to someone? Like a hundred percent. You could just be yourself, mm -hmm. like, and, and give a person you, 100% you. Like, I used to, growing up, I used to try to, like, say you act the way, but you act the way, and you act the way. Mm -hmm. So now I'm around all of y'all, and I'm trying to accommodate to how everyone's acting right. and how everyone's perceiving herself to be. Like, now I'm giving y'all all me. Mm -hmm. Like, 100% me. So you said you would tell the people, be yourself. Yes. Um, like, that's how you gonna get motherfuckers around you who you need to be around mm -hmm. you. The, the bad yeah, seats you, will fall off on their own. When you're talking like when you're talking like somebody else, that's because you're looking for that person to be in your like you want that person to feel you. Like you want that motherfucker to accept you. Mm -hmm. Like no, nah, you gonna take me for Unnecessary. what it is. And what I'm mm -hmm. learning is a person gonna do what they want. Nope. It doesn't matter if I tell you how much I love you and want to be with you. It doesn't matter. None mm -hmm. of that matters. I shouldn't have to. I showed you. So mm -hmm. a person's going to do what they want. How do you respond to negativity? Do you respond to negativity? I ain't going to cap. Mm -hmm. Some shit be pissing me off. Mm -hmm. Like, and I'll type a whole paragraph. I have to at mm -hmm. first. And then I'll delete it. Mm -hmm. Like recently something just happened on social media and some girl canceled her client. Mm -hmm. Like... She canceled her client. Everybody's in a frenzy about it, going all crazy. So I, 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 think I, don't, I might know what yeah, you're talking about. I don't about. really 
speak too much on shit like on that. Like that. Cause you got but now my fuckers <laughs> are talking about killing this girl. Uh, it's not that real about no hair appointment. Right. That you're going to threaten her life mm-hmm. and have her feeling like I don't want to do hair no more. Right. So even if she was wrong, I just always been that person. Whatever y'all want, I'm going against. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not on no, I'm not Joe. I'm, I'm not on nobody's dick. So if y'all all want to be going against her, it's just going to always be that one me with her. Even if I don't like her, do I don't know? give a fuck what it is. But sure, I'm not trying to be with y'all. I don't want to be the person fitting in. I got my own fucking marriage. She's not wrong to me. And I said that she's not wrong to me. I love girl, that the most about you. Swear, I'm not. You're not a bandwagon type of person. You'll never catch me on that. Vibe. You're very popular, but you still stand to you stand on what you stand on, Period. and that's what made me fall in love. And with I you couldn't either. make her feel down. I, I, one thing I hate to be is kicked when I'm down, so mm-hmm. I'm not kicking nobody when they down. Like this whole this whole internet, y'all in a frenzy about right. this. Like she canceled your appointment. And I said it like, I don't feel like she was wrong. Mm-hmm. Cause once again, I'm real big on energy. So once I felt like your energy was crazy to me in these texts, you're canceled. You're done. And I don't that's, care that's the thing. what it is. I don't have to do your hair. All money's not good money. And some girl said to me, Oh wow. You feel how she, you feel what she did was not. You don't think that was wrong after you read what she did. I promise I won't send nobody mm-hmm. to you. I wouldn't recommend you for anything. I said, I'm so sorry. That I made you feel that, that way. you feel that way, yeah. My baby girl, I'm, I'm open on, on the 15th, my, I'm and I'm booked mm-hmm. on the 15th. What'd you Anybody say? It doesn't you send matter. Get in. Like, um, I, you, that negative, keep that energy over there. Like, I'm not arguing with nobody. Mm-hmm. If you make a Facebook post about me, you're not getting refunded. What about the OG? <laughs> you won't make another Facebook post? I'll break your fingers. <laughs> I just wanted to do that. Mo, can you do me a favor? Could you have me the gift that we got for Tajay? Um, tell them your Pizza. Instagram name. Tell them your Instagram handle. You know, how can we find Flashy you? J underscore or Tajay Johnson. All right, I got you something. Give time. Here, here you go. <laughs> Let's see what my sis got me. I'm oh so happy that you see. came. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. Death Christmas, y'all. Do you know, bitch? This is why I mean. You invited me to your Christmas at your shop. And you didn't come. I didn't come. And I got into an altercation with a guy. And I never had that happen to me. I wish that I was there. And sometimes you just got to... If somebody invites you out, just fucking go. Call. Thank you, Cars. You know it's mama. <laughs> Let's see what my sister said. Sajay, thank you for your time and energy. It's always a pleasure to see you. Keep your smile big and your spirit warm. I hope to see you soon. Continue to prosper with love. Serenity. Ah, that's my girl. Love I forgot to grab the envelope. I was like, oh. How do you love these heavy is my favorite candy? Girl, it's day. I ate How the do green you know that? In, the, in the other one. But Green's my favorite color. Sorry, I ate it. I was hungry that day, y'all. Oh, my sis got me some shit. I put it on my credit card. Oh, sis, this is so nice, y'all. Let me tell y'all. Hold on, real quick. Let me tell y'all how my product candy just ran out. And know. this is my favorite. It's her favorite perfume, y'all. This is my oh, favorite. Nothing see. tops this. Nothing tops You'll the Prada nice candy. And she got me the big bottle, so bitch ain't running out. Not at all, Jamal. <laughs> I ain't even running that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. A quick pumper. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you got that already? No. Okay. If you got... put that on your clip, it just be crazy. You're going to squirt oh, everywhere. Oh, yeah. That's it. Let me get my charger. Sorry. I be we'll losing my charger. Don't worry, y'all. But I, got I know that. y'all be swollen when y'all lose your chargers to y'all vibrators. Like that shit be busting. <laughs> Soon as you about to, it just be like no more so vibrators. So you know, I had a client the other day. She said, she said, how do you squirt? I said, how do I squirt? She said, I said, well, first of all, drink a whole lot of water first, because if your if your bladder's full, it's just easier. I'm like. Don't let that shit out till you're ready. I don't know. It's not that hard. How do you do? You want to get married one day? Yes, my man better marry me after these five long years. He needs to marry me next year, or it's to the left, to the left. Everything you own is in the box to the left. Cause that bitch mm-hmm. like me, mm-hmm. real ass bitch, give a fuck about a nigga. Can I get the uh, Who Wants Smoke? Dang, this nigga keep calling me. I'm doing a podcast. I want the Who Wants Smoke instrument. What is it? Who Wants Smoke? You got it, or I got it? 
Chillin' with Tajay, I know my sis don't play. These bitches want this smoke, we won't have it no other way. Uh. You catch me in the studio, I'm throwing up my G's. I have these real niggas on they motherfucking knees. Who wants smoke with me? Bitch, who wants smoke with us? I roll them big woods, I make these niggas cuss. Uh. I get y'all on the dick, I make that dick thrust. And uh. if that bitch is mad, I then bitch come and bust. Uh. Who wants smoke with us? Who wants smoke with uh-huh. me? Bitch, come get lit with me. Uh-huh. So- Come get lit with me. Bitch, I don't suck no dick for free. Huh. Shit, I ain't sucking dick at all. No. But nigga, you got that money. Money? Well, take me to the mall. Shop. Uh, uh, spend them bands with me. Spend them bands with me. Uh, I don't like girls, but if I did like girls, then she would be light skinned. Uh, all these niggas out here got chlamydia, they try to My sister, they got that. <laughs> Another thing. What? These bitches gotta hop on the money team, sis. I noticed there's a lot of hype about the females who don't work and they don't do shit. And I'm not hating, but it's kind of unfair. Like, damn, you hyping up a bitch who don't do shit. What? They be selling pussy, sis. And they be doing crack. They be doing coke. Coke, is it? Or dope. I don't know. (laughs) Ain't no way in hell. They yeah. must got some fire. It gotta be. Yeah, my nigga want me to cook, clean, mm-hmm. and work. Right. No, and I gotta I feel work. Like nothing's wrong with that. Nobody's a millionaire. I just need my own money anyway. Do you go for his phone? No. Good. Good we for don't. You. Let me tell you some shit. We don't do that. He's mm-hmm. never went through my phone, and I went through his phone one time. Did I didn't go through it, girl. I was done up for a week. Which I'll never go through a phone. All, all women I ain't say never that. touched the phone since. Again, yep. I went through uh old what's his name, your boy's phone. And um I I regretted it because it made me so a lot of the shit that me and him went through made me mature. I noticed that going through a phone is it's not always about the nigga. His mm-hmm. friends might tell him some shit that's mm-hmm. not my business mm-hmm. and I need to just mind my fucking business. And when yeah. he was like, You went through my phone, I felt bad. Maybe that ruined it. I don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> going to be Nobody's phone. And we go through my phone. Ain't nothing in here anyway. Right. But I'm not going through your phone. Because guess what? I get made over what you doing. And hard eyes and shit. Why Got you send that bitch hard eyes? Mm-hmm. But she looked cute and I sent them too. But don't send that bitch hard eyes. You ever be like, how do you feel about threesomes? Do you feel like you got to pick the girl? How would you feel if he picked a girl? Because I need like girls already. But how would you feel if he picked a girl? Would you feel like y'all already fucked or would you rather pick the girl? No, if they already fucked, we're not doing it. Yeah. But if he be like, She's cute. Oh, yeah, she's all right. Yeah. I'm like, you were? Mm-hmm. Like, how would you do it? Like, I would you be her, like, like, if we're at the club or something, she's turned, like, you know, I'll send her some drinks or whatever. Like, you trying to come home with me and my nigga? You's a real bitch. These regular niggas who don't even know the shit. And I'm going to make drink. my nigga pay her. Mm-hmm. Like, right, depending her on the services. circumstances. Yeah, like, you have to pay her. Right. She ain't good. Just- She's yeah, that's not our bitch. Yeah, right. Exactly. You yeah. have to pay it's her. Like Polly. Cause shit, if oh, yeah, I was nice. in a relationship and I was getting yeah. fucked, y'all was gonna pay me. I'm gonna feed you. You know, mm-hmm. a nice little telly. Y'all yeah. hear that? Mm-hmm. Really nice. I'm so glad you came. Yeah. You're amazing. You're a beautiful woman. So and I'm glad nice, that we sis. got to see your smile. Like I said, sis. we got to see your smile. Like I said, a lot of people may be intimidated by who they think you are, mm-hmm. but I love you. You're Zoe. amazing. I never... I feel like even though we're not like best friends, you mm-hmm. had my back when my I could, when I didn't know when I I'm I'm oblivious to a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. I'm really I don't be knowing. Mm-hmm. And one day I remember you hitting me and you explained something to me and I was like, "Damn, she really cool as hell." Yeah, yeah. A you lot know, of people just mm-hmm. a lot of people <laughs> just really try to like they gonna hate. Mm-hmm. They see I I have a um I'm outspoken and I have a high energy. Mm-hmm. So when I come in the room. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I still the show. Like, you not on purpose. Though. Right. Like, that's just what it is. My fucking show love. And mm-hmm. I show love, too. Like, real respect, real. Right. So it'll always be that. So it'll be them bitches like, what the fuck? Like, that bitch. Da, 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 da. But they didn't get around me and be like, you're a vibe. Like, I fuck with you. Like, they'd be like, yeah. Like, I ain't what you thought I was. Exactly. Like, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that, though. You make me I love feel- that. Because, bitch, you was talking all that shit. Mm-hmm. Your friend see you was talking all that shit. Now you on my fucking Instagram at me and your friends be like, bitch, you're on her dick. You was just talking shit on her. I'm confused. And it'd be like, yeah, that's what y'all do. Mm-hmm. Like, that's you, the vibes. You make me feel very comfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, 
That's all. That's why I wanted you to be my first guest. I'm like, uh, and when I told, like, like this is how Boss Talk been the idea, but me and my shorty was in bed. He put something on TV, and he was like, you wanted to be like this? And I'm like, yeah. He was like, well, who's going to be your first guest? I said, Tajay. He said, period. Like, it wasn't nothing else. He know who you are, and I'm sure he and I appreciate that because I you get what you put in mm-hmm. like and I put the fucking work in hard like I you did I don't take no no time I'm like yeah if I don't get to it nobody ain't gonna get to did it did you have uh, trouble like opening up your shop how did you go about that girl that shit was the craziest thing my boyfriend when I graduated college was just like yeah like I got a spot for you like he's a sweetie so like yeah that was my baby just was like yeah like we want you gonna make this your shop like and for years I would just procrastinate and work in other people's shop being from the east side girl and I didn't know him I knew his friends I knew a lot of people was around him Mm-hmm. Y'all are like an awesome couple. We really when are. me and Mo be out, I seen them once. I was like, "That's Tajay's boyfriend." Like, I'm about to go yeah, say hello. That's my nigga. Yeah, like that's my bait. Like, <laughs> bro, shit, that's my baby. Like <laughs> that nigga keep me on my yeah. yeah. Like, but I was walk. I was going to the store this one day on the north side. I'm cracking up. I don't even do the north side, but I was with Shishi this one day. Shishi in Brooklyn, mm-hmm. we was on the north side, going to that store on Perrysville oh, on the corner. I'm all right on the Ave. Uh, so the West Winkos. Now it's like Perry Market. Girl, or yes. Like and he rode past <laughs> when I was walking into the store, and then I was like, "Oh, that's that nigga Skrilla." And all my life, when I came outside, he was parked in the front. Uh-huh. He was waiting, but he didn't say shit. He just was peeping me out. Mm-hmm. Then he DM me on Instagram a little bit later, like, mm. yeah, like "What's your number?" Ever since then, we've been locked in. That's what's up. Y'all been together for a while. I've been. Oh, wow. How long y'all been together? It's been five years. I was going to say like 2015. Yeah, that's why he needs to marry me. Now. <laughs> hey, yo. You going to make sure he tune in? So he can. Uh, okay. Because if you well, don't, nigga. We going out. Where you want to go? Homies, to? Denied. Bitch, what, you get to know. Reply. Your, what's your um nightlife like in Pittsburgh? <laughs> He's cracking it. What's your nightlife like, like in Pittsburgh? Like, all right, we going to go out tonight, but where, what's your favorite spot? Meet me at the one. Meet her at the one. Too sweet. That's where I be with the motherfucking walls. What day of the week? You like Sunday or B night or? Uh, they got that. They got Sunday. Like, there's nowhere to go on Sunday but the one. Uh huh. I'm going to go on Sunday. But I don't be trying to burn it out. <laughs> but, I'm gonna fuck with exotic so vibes. You, you, you know. Yeah, let's go there. Yeah, we going tonight. Yeah, we gonna roll that. When you keep going to somewhere, you be like, eh. do you uh? Do you ever? I'm sure that not every guy in Pittsburgh knows that you have a guy. How do you turn somebody down? Like, say my name is uh Rook. No, that's a bad name because there's a couple Rooks, guy Rooks. <laughs> let's say my name is Ren. I was but the guy, I'm a, my name is gonna be. I was in my head like Ren. <laughs> Ren. Let's say I'm Ren. Yo, what's up, baby? Let me take you out to dinner. I'm gonna be like, Bing Bong. Like, if you say some shit like that, I'm gonna say some funny shit and keep walking. But there be different niggas. Like, some nigga gonna say to me a couple weeks ago, like, yes, yeah, so support your rapper boyfriend before I fuck your life up. I turned around. Wrong bitch. Right? I just she say it and when you but if you're in gentleman like oh my god you beautiful. must be from Tennessee cause you the only Tennessee, Tennessee. I'm gonna be <laughs> very what you say? yeah would you ever um, but I ain't gonna beg him I'm gonna just be like yeah I got it man like, yeah, you know, you'll be nice yeah. hypothetically have you ever done mm, this is like girl a sack <laughs> don't be do my job but <laughs> Would you ever like? I'm the type where like I'll go on a date when I'm fucking with somebody. Have y'all go get food? But I'm, a, you say? I'm, I'm hungry. Get, well, I'm gonna get takeout for my shorty though, or like. No. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm gonna bring you home something. Like nigga, he fed me and you. Don't even worry about it. He said, he said, "Go put this in for me and you." <laughs> This is so fun. Thank you for coming uh, today. We're going to go out tonight. Follow Tajay. Let them know again where they can find you Splashy at. Splashy J on Instagram, two underscore Splashy Dice Styles Co. You know. This is Boss Talk with Ren. Follow me on Instagram at Ruga underscore Ren. I hate when people say Ruga. I'd be like, you know that you're a suburban bitch. No, they ain't call my sis Ruga. Why the fuck would my name be Ruga Ren? It's Ruga like the gun. Um... <laughs> we got look. All right, we're done. We going out. We want smoke. Yeah. All right, we got weed. We gonna smoke. We got See that. Ya.